if you're a barbarian like me and really enjoy this class and you're just beginning your playthrough then you're going to begin to notice a trend trash mobs <laughs> yes these are groups of enemies that swarm you in almost every encounter at every corner of the map and at first it seems fun fighting them but after a while they really become a problem because the barbarian class in the early game does not scale the best compared to the other more forgiving classes this means that you need a build that has the best abilities which will allow you to excel through these hard phases because although he may not be that strong early game the barbarian is an absolute beast once you start getting to the end game Hey, what's going on y'all? Let's be righteous from identity and I thought it'd be cool to share this Diablo build with you. There is more to come and if you're interested in stuff like this, guides and gameplay, then don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Okay, when first starting out, you may think that all this stuff, especially pertaining to the skill tree, may seem overwhelming, especially if you're new to Diablo in general. Well, it is kind of, but I'm going to show you what I've been using to breeze through these early phases. Okay, so there are a few basic attacks to choose from starting out, but the best one hands down to go with is Flay. Flay is an attack that deals damage to an enemy and also inflicts a bleeding effect that damages them over time. This can be a useful way to chip away at the enemy's health even when you're not actively attacking them. You can also increase this effect with Rend as you level, but we're not going to do that for this. It's just nice to have this passive damage always inflicting the enemy even when you're not hitting them. So what you want to add onto this is a core ability called Upheaval. Upheaval allows you to tear into the ground with your weapon and fling debris towards the enemy dealing damage. You want to upgrade everything in this tree to the max because it deals some insane damage to the trash mobs I was referring to. It's ironic though. I hear that Upheaval isn't as strong in endgame so it doesn't scale that good. Which means it's perfect for something like what I'm doing here. But before leaving this area of the skill tree, make sure to activate the passive skill called Endless Fury. This can generate up to 15% more fury when using your basic attack, which you will always be doing. This will allow you to activate upheaval a lot more often. The reason why this works so well is because the Barbarian class only has him and his weapon. He doesn't have as many tricks up his sleeves like all the other classes, but I admire his straightforwardness in battle, which is why he's my favorite. He isn't really that fast either. And that aspect alone is why I'm adding this next ability on the skill tree to address that directly. This one is called Rallying Cry. It allows barbarians to let out a rallying cry that boosts their movement speed and resource generation. You can do this every 25 seconds and it also does this for nearby allies movement speed for a duration. Now this is perfect, even more upheaval. And another aspect that's annoying in the early game is how much running around the map you have to do to lock down these travel gates and whenever trying to complete main missions, that movement speed is vital to getting across the map while trying not to dread it. All of these abilities when upgraded grant some amazing bonuses and buffs. You can check those out yourself once you begin to upgrade. Overall, this build will help you get past the weak phase all barbarians go through in the early game. Let me know what you think of this down below and share any other builds similar to this one in the comment section. If this helped you out in any way, please drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'll catch you in the next one. Be right out.